Hello everybody, welcome back to another video where today we're going to be talking about house cats. There's actually a lot of very cool things about them that you probably don't know. I actually recorded this entire video before and it ended up recording an entirely different thing. So I have to do it again. I absolutely hate when that happens. It's very annoying. But here we go again. We're gonna learn about the floofy fluff balls that live in your house and in the wild. Basically, I'm gonna be uh, talking about some facts about them and stuff and um, what they <laughs> and um <sighs> and, so, and just uh, um, uh, what they use their body parts for. All right, so the domestic cats. The phylum is Chordata, or Chordata, either one. The order is Carnivora. The suborder is Feliformia. Their family is Felidae, and their subfamily is Felinae. Their scientific name is Felis catus. I actually have two cats living in my house. They're, they're very cute. Um, moving on, um, their diet is, of course, cat food, and but they can occasionally eat fish, like salmon, trout, herring, etc. They like to eat rodents too. Okay, <laughs> they like to eat rodents too, and um. They also eat birds, and I actually have uh, had my cats bring in bats into my house, um, and etc. I don't really know if they eat snakes. Uh, the research I've done said they don't really appear to eat snakes, they only kill them. But I have seen my cat bite off the head of a snake, so I don't know. The habitat of, is of course worldwide. And some, most of the time, it's also in your house. Um, but some domestic cats, well, I guess like alley cats or feral cats, they would live somewhere in the wild. Their weight for females is, is 8 to 12 pounds. And the males are 11 to 15 pounds. Their size is around 15 to 20 inches long, excluding the tail. A stand around 10 inches tall, excluding the tail. Their jump height is actually somewhere 2.76 meters, which is pretty impressive. That's probably somewhere, that's probably hot, taller than I am. But, but, um, here's a picture of a cute little house cat. I'm pretty sure it's a mixed breed, but it kind of seems to have some kind of a flat face cat, like part flat face and part short hair. But I don't really know exactly what this. This isn't really my cat, but um, very beautiful cat. And here's another cat, also a very cute one. Cats are actually very cool creatures. I don't really know why most people hate cats. I seriously just don't. Um, but um. Now I'm going to be talking about the features, like their claws. They have very sharp claws. And they have what, what is called retractable claws. Which uh, means their claws are normally hidden, but when uh, kind of grab something, they come out. So they can hold on to stuff. It's very useful for when hunting prey, and it, it also doesn't really damage their claws while they're running. So yeah, it's pretty, it's win-win. It's and then their ears. They have very large ears. And they're shaped like that so they can trap sound in there. So they can actually like hear better. Their hearing is way better than humans. I don't actually know exactly how much better. But uh, when I do know it, I'll put it in the description of the video. And um, their eyesight is also way better than humans. And the reason they've got, like, really good vision at night is because they've got kind of, like, mirrors in the back of their eyes. And those mirrors reflect lights, and so it kind of makes them see better, I guess. I don't exactly know how. I don't know everything. I'm sorry. 
<clears throat> and um, their nose. They also use that. Uh, they use their sense of smell to track down prey. Um, it's also way better than humans. Now their tongue. So their tongue uh, kind of has like w little hooks on there. You can't really see them, uh, but they're really small. But you can definitely feel them. And what, like when a cat is grooming or licking you, he can their tongue feels rough, and that's it's because of those hooks. Those hooks are there so they can kind of strip off every last morsel off of the bones of their prey. Uh, it's also helpful when they're drinking. As you know how they kind of slurp up water. The water kind of gets, the hooks kind of helps uh, um, them slurp it all up. And then like, they're whiskers. So those whis whiskers, I'm pretty sure it helps them feel around. Um, so like when they stick their snout in little areas, you can kind of feel around like that. Um, also, their tail. So their tail, they actually use that for balance. So like... Um, it's very important for them because, like, when they're climbing trees or running, they need balance, and that's what the tail is there for. Also, I'm not gonna be talking about s some things that cats actually. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> so I'm gonna be talking about um some some uh, like a couple breeds of cats. I think one or two, probably two. I'm gonna be talking about the savannah cat. That's a that's a mix between a serval and a house cat. You can go look that up. I don't have any pictures of them here. And um, the savannah cat. Um, they actually love to be walked on leashes and they love to fetch balls. So they're kind of like a sub um a feline substitute for cats. Oh yeah, I also just forgot to mention that the reason they groom themselves or lick themselves, um, it's a uh, I don't know the exact reason, but one of them is probably so they don't really smell that much. So um, predators or their prey can't really detect them that well. But yeah, the, um, so now I'm going to go back to the breeds of cats. So yeah, the savannah cat is kind of like a dog, but smaller. Um, then there's also the bobtail. I think it's a mix. Well, it's kind of got, I don't know what mix it, exactly what mix it is. But it's got like a cute little bobcat tail, and they also love to be walked on leashes, and they could uh, play fetch. Also, um, what else was I gonna say? Mm. Chin scratch. I was gonna say something pretty important, but I forgot what it was. I always forget everything. Uh, still don't remember it. Oh, I'm sorry. But, um, I guess I'll have to end the video here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to leave a like. I hope you have a great day.